<coughs> Hello ladies, gentlemen, attack helicopters, machine gun turrets, um, crows, bats, um, yeah, street signs, street lights, everybody, whatever your gender is. <laughs> this is Blue Eye Insights, of course. So, uh, a random YouTuber nobody nobody knows about. I'm kidding. Let's grab the manuscript page. I think somebody's attacking me. Anyway, it says, My best friend. I don't make friends easily. I know plenty of people, but I don't let most of them close. I've known Barry Wheeler ever since we were little boys. We had the time of our lives. I'd get us in trouble, and he'd talk us out of it. Things haven't changed that much now that we're grown-ups. He's the most loyal and dependable person I've ever met, and all the things that count anyway. You could call him a weasel, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. You could call him a clown, and I would reluctantly agree. But he has never let me down. Oh yeah. Of course, he's real. He's the man. Also, I think somebody is uh, threatening to kill me. I mean, or threatening. I mean, threatening to, to be killed by me instead. Yep, that's what I thought. You little bitch. Oh, more ammunition. No, I'm. I got full. Clip. My favorite toy. I'm gonna cross this um, red gas canister without blowing it up. Said no gamer ever. Let's go. You know what the. Uh, uh, what is it? Powder gangers say. <laughs> I'm kidding. More. I think it's mixed. Shit. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I released the entire clip at him and he didn't stop Here him. we go again. Better get ready to run. Of course. I mean the... Uh, what is it? The, the the knockback of the weapon is pretty low, I guess. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing exactly the same thing. Welcome to the episode one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Also, I just uh, I will not add any music in this video because I'm running out of soundtracks, and we'll see. Maybe it wasn't a good addition after all. Anyway. Also, I hope I remember where I ran. But I probably... No, where Iraq. No. <laughs> I'm making such a fucking stupid joke, I swear, I swear. Okay. Okay, anyway, I hope I remember where I ran away. That I probably will die once again from fire. Let's twist this little boy. Now let's stand well back and watch while watching this uh, satellite dish who was hit by a meteor is now gonna hit the um, the, the thing I don't know how it is, what is it called it's like a satellite tower but it's not who knows it's shit it's just shit Oh, well I knew it! I knew it! That was obvious. Now, if I remember correctly, I should run there, yep. Should run here. Hey, I don't, I don't remember fighting mutants then. I really don't. Hey, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Do, do you know what gun says to the face? Exactly. Pew, and, uh, and again, pew. You're dead, you little bitch. Let's, let's get the hell out of here. 
let's uh, click C7 and say, shut up. Now let's click C and 7 and just uh, say, uh, get out of here, it's gonna blow up. No. Oh yeah, she's gonna be in trouble now, I guess. DM her. I'm probably gonna tell her, bitch, get out of here, or you'll be killed again. Actually, I wouldn't mind if they made a time loop of me eating a cake, you know, or drinking, or drinking something, you know. Just you could, you could enjoy the same thing forever. You can see the product, you go back in time, and you can, see, and so on and so on. This is not the bad thing. Nothing. Uh, this is just me killing everybody. That's the bad thing about it. Otherwise, it's nothing, nothing to worry about. Not all of them are. This one is not. Well, let one, two, three, four. Okay, that's good enough for me. Now let's restart because I'm um, I'm actually running really low. I only have okay. Uzi. It's safe now. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Okay, I'm fully loaded. Let's go. I honestly don't see her. Really oh. Feeling about all of this. Okay. I'm gonna need those keys to the diner now. There's a motel key there that I have to get. Yeah. Oh, hey, you don't have to do that. I have the motel master key. I work for the same company, you know. Um, what's at the motel? Manuscript page. There's a dead guy. He's got something I need to get into the Mount Redtooth Observatory. What? God, that's awful. Hey, um, you wanted to know about the guy who looked like you, didn't you? Yes, what about him? You said he had a party, and, but you didn't go. Oh, yeah. No, that's not true. Oh. I did go. She is a liar. It was really great at first, and and then I didn't see it myself, but I hear he turned nasty. He hurt a bunch of guys pretty bad, yeah. and there was this girl. He, she died. Well, fuck but it. I didn't hear about that until afterwards. Good. I thought that he was so charming. Oh. And then he went to the diner. Actually, he is charming. Right. I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved with that at all. I don't know what happened. It's like, yeah. I need to check out these motel rooms. In the meantime, you stay here, okay? I'm serious. Keep the lights on and stay here. Yeah, okay. You got it. I sure hope you're right about this. But you do know she actually stayed here. And the lights bursted. The light bulb bursted and there were no lights in the garage. Actually, speaking of which... Let's save her. I mean, our of her own fate haunts. Him. I knew this guy is a fucking retard. He just said, "Go away. Just I mean, get out of here." I mean, I knew it. The light bulb, the lights probably went off, and that's it. She's toast. The bitch is toast. Sloan and fills her with dread. This time, she does as she's told. It's not enough to save her. There's nothing enough to save her. That's what he said. Oh yeah, let's grab the manuscript page. I really fucking need it. Give me it. <sighs> Wake's friends. Okay. Alice and Barry, my wife and my best friend, are easily the two most important people in my life. And they've never really gotten along with each other. I suppose both of them resent the other's intrusions into what they consider their domain. After I was gone, they maintained an uneasy truce. My book stayed in print, still selling. The licensing machine churned away. She was my wife and controlled the intellectual property. He was my agent and took care of the business. I wish they found more common ground than that. Okay. Now the next manuscript page is going to be... Um, uh, my friends Barry and Wheeler. <laughs> uh, that would be so retarded. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. I know this is the room I actually need to go to, so I'm gonna check the room again and hope I'll, uh, hoping I will find a, another manuscript page, you know. 
In which case, I only found a flare gun ammo. Which is good enough for me. Let's get out of here. And go, oh, and go where I'm actually supposed to go. Dude, that's... Fucking, okay, maybe I would have made a sound too. If that was an unexpected landing. Anyway, let's go. Let's meet the dead guy again. Let's grab the observatory keys. And uh, let's be. Let's see whatever. What the. Uh, blah, 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 what the hell is going said on? Said that nobody knows what okay. the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. Yeah. A weaker man might simply give up, but the champion of light is an expert on destiny. Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same. I really don't understand what you're talking about. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Um. There, I forgot actually. Oh yeah, I'm on my way to observe. No, that was not. Oh fuck it, I forgot. I really forgot. The Mount Red Tooth Observatory. Mount Red Tooth. Shut up, Arizona. Its top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Yeah. Tonight, the Champion of Light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. Yeah, yeah, but I'm looking for a weapon, you dummy. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. Of course. Wait. Am I flying now? Let's grab the manuscript page. It's behind a fire truck. There's a mutant about. Oh no you don't! You're going down, my friend! You're going down! Let's read the page. It's called Success. As a storyteller, my first real love was crime. And it was in that genre that I finished my first novel, starring the perpetually miserable Alex Casey, whose entire life was a wound that never healed. The books sold as fast as they hit the shelves. Yep. I wrote five more Alex Casey books, and they all were bestsellers. Cool. I became rich. I became famous. Success brought pressure, and I didn't handle it very well. Good for you, mate. Let's uh, let's collect another manuscript page, which is called another manuscript page. No, it's over there, behind a canister. I mean something. A huge object of a shape of a dildo. I mean, no. <laughs> uh, let's get some more. Uh, ammo. Okay, there we go. This page is called New Reality, Fragment 1. The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged. Almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end. But it wasn't over yet. Yeah, you thought that all the mutants are dead, but they weren't yet. No, that was a poor rhyme. Let's get the imaginary array. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, let's get the imaging array. I'm actually, sometimes I get this shit when I'm actually not reading, but I'm actually creating words in my mind, and then I pretend that I read the text, but actually all I'm saying is, is what my mind dictates me to, or tells me to. Oop. Come on. There's a grenadier. Bye bye. Who? Hey boy. You're going downtown with me. What the hell? There's so many manuscript pages. Like honestly, what is this box? It requires 15 and it has a hunting rifle. Whoa. Let's see how much ammo can I have for it. Oh. I am taking this. Fuck carbine. It's locked. And I should go get the key. There's a manuscript page over there. Let's read it. The Genesis of Mr. Scratch. I've seen the enemy. And it's me. 
I faced dark horrors before, things that live in the unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Sometimes they masquerade as humans. That's what ultimately lurks inside Mr. Strange. He's every mean-spirited tabloid story about me, an evil caricature, a creature formed in that vague territory of misconceptions, half-truths, and the dark imagination of people who heard a story about me. An urban legend made flesh, a serial killer, my dark half, brought to life by the power of Cauldron Lake. Yeah, okay, why do you, why can't you actually pronounce his name, like, Mr. Scratch, why is it Mr. Psh, or like Mr. Psh, like Mr. Shishing, what the fuck is the word, I don't know, there's another manuscript page, what the hell, Jesus Christ, I'm wasting my time reading, I mean, letting Alan Wake read the manuscript pages, uh, the cosmo, the cosmological, tr no, no, the cosmological truths. There are places where our world is worn thin, and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington. Yep. But there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable. Always malleable. in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. Mm. They're dangerous. Mm -hmm. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. Mm-hmm. This is all very interesting, Mr. Anderson. I mean, what? What do I say? Fuck it. Let's let's still go to the imaging array. That's where we are going now. And so far, I'm just wasting away collecting these manuscript pages for one reason or the other. But you know, you gotta know the story if you wanna. If you wanna know the story, you gotta know the story. No, fuck me. What am I saying? Honestly, where I don't think I'm supposed to go here. Should I pause? Let's pause for a second until I probably find it or meet a group of enemies. I'm here. I'm in a place. I remember I will be ambushed by spiders. Or will I? Anyway, let's grab another manuscript page. It's called... Do you know what she's called? No. The darkness. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. Oh. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage. A hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. Well, fuck it, just live there. I mean, you're free of taxes, aren't you? If you are, uh, uh, you're, you're okay. That's okay. Let's open the trunk and let's get the page and let's be assaulted by spiders. But there are no spider webs around yet, but it might still be present. Let's see if there's any goodies outside. Nope, there's no. Not a single damn one. Also, don't forget, you need, re need actually, um, what is it? Release the cooling system, the sick. Yeah, the secondary cooling system. Also, you're gonna be attacked by an idiot sandwiches. Go ahead. Go ahead. Damn it, the rifle is so slow! Oh no, you don't! Mmm, I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's so... Oh man, it just... Uh, no, give me my carbine back. Sorry. It, first, Alan Wake that was my easily the most favorite... I mean, the, the favorite gun in the game. Because it was, it was pretty quick. It was very strong. Way more powerful than shotgun. But here, it's pretty... I guess it's pretty strong, but... But it's... No, but... But compared to the... Um, Firing rate of the uh, what is it? Carbine rifle. Carbine. It's it's no match. It's really no match. Just look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna probably just uh, launch four shots at, at this boy. One, two, three, four. That's it. See, two, three, four. See, it's no match. It's outmatched by this rifle right there. The ammunition is also plentiful. Look at this. For example, this this case, another manuscript page, and it's called the nature of stories. Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads. 
fueled by books, television, <laughs> even barely remembered childhood tales. Yep. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Mm. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. Oh yeah, of course. Now tell me everything you just eat and taste is just, uh, just the signals your brain transmits to your damn body. Like, it, like in a matrix, you know? Okay, let's see. Wow. Wow. You're recording me, huh? You're recording me, huh? Bitch! Fine, that's a really good camera. <laughs> oh man, I need some ammo soon. Maybe there are some. Oh, they will be inside, of course. I remember that. But he, but he will still need a cooling system, well, honestly. I remember. How dare you? No, wait. It isn't you, is it? I... I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I, I'll unlock the door. Sure, I don't possess... I don't possess any thread because, well, even though I'm just wearing a... I have a 5.56 on 45mm rifle, which is semi-automatic, but it's still a good rifle, and I possess no thread. Let's not... Should I watch the TV now? Fuck it, let's see. My boy. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin. Oh. Natural powers. Mm. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. Cool. I want you to understand that. Alan, look at the screen, you dumbass. Nice tools. Look at his hammer, for example. Need to get your hands dirty? Nope. No batteries, no moving mm. parts, just physics. That's true. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Of course, you can always use like a hatchet or a cleaver, anything you're... Speaking of classics... Oh, razor. Be careful with this one now. If the victim suddenly twists... Yep. You might end up cutting yourself. Oh. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Of course you are, Mr. Gentleman. Now this is more like it. Oh, what is this? Switchblade. You've got slip resistant grip. Cool. Me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. Of course. That's a good point. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket. Yeah. It's still really easy to open with just one hand. Yeah, just click now the button. A thing for me. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good collection of your guns. I don't know Weapons. What you're thinking. Oh, this is a bayonet knife or not? But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. That's a hunting knife. If you're talking I guess. This is gonna do the job. Yep. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. Yep, probably. The messy jobs. Of course. Give me, show me the hatchet or 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 a uh, uh, duct tape. Of course. How many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff? Oh yeah. No more speech, right? <laughs> no more speech. Show me the gun. Okay. Now guns. Oh yeah. I'm not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? Well, you, you think about it, I don't know. It's up to you, I don't know. I want you to understand that. Yep. I take pride in what I do. Yeah, me too, mate. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? Yeah, I guess. Heh. <laughs> well, that was, uh, that was really inspiring. Thank you, Mr. Scratch. Have a good night. I uh, hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I mean, it w I mean, wonderful New Year. It was all very good. Thank you for that awesome, me, awesome presentation. Feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. Yes. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I. All right. Uh, let's get it installed. Tuh! But don't forget, you're gonna need a coolant. I mean, a cooling system because it's gonna crash or something, and she's gonna shut it down as an emergency. Action. Come on, do it now. Do it now. I think we can give this a go. Although I have this strange feeling that something Don't will go Don't start wrong. it up yet. Oh yeah. The cooling system. Oh yeah. Yes, that's right. I remember. <laughs> All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes. It is. I'll take care of it. Awesome, mate. If you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. You probably could, but in a pause mode, because we don't have the time for...
petty conversations. So sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But if yeah, but, but, but if that's gonna be a cutscene, I'm gonna show you. What's going on? But I seem to remember having had this encounter before. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. <laughs> I don't believe in magic. Me neither. Neither do I. But I can't argue with what I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? Yeah. I... Yes. All right. The rest conversations will... The rest of the conversation will not be recorded. Anyway, let's get out of here. We have to secure the primary pipes. Checkpoint reached. Yeah. Now you can't fill me here. Ha, <laughs> pathetic. No. There should be one twist here. Or someplace else. I don't know. Um, of course. Now. Damn you. Come on, can you jump? Pathetic. I suspect an ambush. Yep. I see you right there. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. No, I'm not Morpheus. Or am I? If, if you think I don't see you, I still do. I see you very well. Count me on this. Let's go gangsta on their asses. Let's reload. Yeah, that's an order. They're all down. Let God sort them out. Let's go. Let's secure the area before they sabotage it. Let's uh, use the electrical circuit and switch it on. Good, oh no. Yes, I'm trapped. This is wonderful. Time to defend myself, I suppose. What is this, cheap? Cheap, cheap. I guess they didn't like that. Of course he didn't like that, you inbred moron. Let's get out of here. Also, let me just check home. How much time I've been recording, you know? For, for, for no reason. Also, if you take a look at that, this is actually the view of my death. I'm gonna be crushed by balls. No. That's Alan Wake's balls. No. 28 and a half. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I got hit anyway. Fuck it. Uh, how does it feel that when the entire terrain is actually trying to murder you? Really, how does it feel? Wait, oh, what the hell was that? Oh, no! What was that? Uh, what is this? A drone? An airplane? That's a bird! That's a plane! No, that's a stupid man! Oh, look up in the sky! Let's go grab the checkpoint and let's heal because I need it. Yeah. Let's, I said, let's go grab the check. I mean, let's not grab the checkpoint and let's not heal. That's right, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you very much. See? I knew. No. <laughs> oh, no, you don't! <laughs> like I said, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Oh, you're pathetic losers. I see you all the time, dude. You can you can hide nothing from me. Hell, you can't even hide yourself in the dark because you suck. Come on, charge! No, no, you won't. 
And I'm having too much fun right now. <laughs> oh yeah. But I need to heal, like, come on. For safety reasons. Let's see. The Taken. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. Scratch throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. Mr. Scratch! But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Okay, sure, go ahead, buddy. And you're probably gonna have it the time of your life. <laughs> don't you? Let's return to Dr. Meters. And let's experience yet another ambush. It's a grenadier. I can see you right there, big boy. I can see another grenadier. 12 o'clock, as a matter of fact. What was that? Another grenadier. There's one left. And he is gonna go. We're gonna go bye bye. Just like that. Plain and simple. Let's grab some ammo. Because I need it too. I hope I will regenerate out inside a building. Because I need to. Because there will be an ambush, I believe. Come on, I'm in the light. No, it's darkness. Shit. Well, if I get hit even once, I am a goner. I am a goner if I get if I get hit by a by a brute. Of course, but I know there will be bitches. But let's restock on ammunition supplies. I need it. This desperately, desperately need it. For my Uzi. <coughs> let's speak to Miss Dr. Meadows. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, damn it. Dr. Meadows. Uh, that was pretty easy. Okay. Find the signal? Thank you, Google. Okay. Yes. I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Sure. Are we getting the complete signal? <coughs> I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. Cool. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna probably not record this. Sorry. And the conversation's over. There were three dialogues, and it was pretty interesting. Shit, but sorry, I'm not gonna show it because I'm gonna, I want to show you some more action because all the I've been I've been reading manuscript pages and all Another that crap. Printer. Shut up. Another signal fragment. Shut up. The message <laughs> is still not complete. Oh great! But it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Cool. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands. They will hold back the darkness. Oh man, I forgot to turn on the music volume. I'm an idiot. What an idiot. And I'm driving to the drive-in theater all the time. No. I'm gonna break my rusty cage. And run. No. When he came to the drive-in. It did not end well. Yep. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. You will see. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. Good. Uh, I'm gonna use flare gun once or twice because, like, I remember, I, s I have plenty of ammo. Ugh. Serena's probably out of her mind again, but I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. So it's an obli I'm, obli I'm obligated to enter the building anyway. Let's. Uh, also, I saw the manuscript page hitting some hidden somewhere. It's on a pile of bags, probably sandbags. Let's see. Or, uh, the dangers. Blah, blah, blah. The dangers of creation. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far ranging and momentous. My area of expertise the written word gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality, but so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. Sure, go ahead. I mean, whatever you say, buddy, 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 buddy. Let's go. 
let's grab the keys and let's kill everybody and let's there will they will bend on their knees no. you again oh it's you again here to get the keys so I can get the power back on you want to hold me down it's okay I know you like that oh yeah give him a blow job no yeah I'll just grab the keys sure you could be like your wife oh a little wifey nice Waiting at home for hubby she's cute or oh, okay what could be the mailman or the neighbor. Or a pizza delivery guy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm already married to someone who isn't crazy, thanks. I'm oh. just gonna go and get the power back on. Sure. Aww. Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. Ooh. Have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. Damn, you see? Uh... He's not actually uh, resisting right now. <laughs> Holy moly. Let's now listen to radio. I don't give a crap about what the fuck they're gonna say to me now. Let's restore the power. Power. Let's restore the. Getting it yet, genius? Fuck, that was a waste of shell. But I needed to waste it someplace, so you know. Oh, beautiful. Because I have too many shells. They're still alive. Not for long, bitch. Not for long. The uh, the the, the, the drive-in theater right now is closed, I guess. So the the big screen is not showing anything. Um. Oh yeah, let's grab a checkpoint. And probably I should... I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go. Or not. Or leave it for next time. Fuck it. Sorry. I mean... Uh, I should really consider my recording times. I mean, I mean the, the, the time I record a video. Whatever. Anyway, I, it was Blue Einsight. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can click like. Thumbs up. Whatever that little that, that little button with a with a with a with a hand and it's uh, it's almost in the shape of this, but for some reason the thumb is showing up. Or what? Okay, you got probably you can click thumbs down if you didn't find this if you found this video appalling or my commentary anything related to the game whatever who cares. So yeah. Also yeah, what are your thoughts? I mean you're never write comments almost <laughs> if you is it better without music or is it better with music I really don't know you never tell me you never actually tell me and that's a, how am I supposed to know when you're actually you never actually tell me I don't know I mean I'm doing it for you guys I mean, after all yes so yeah I hope you have a good new year it's gonna be tomorrow and yeah We'll see what the new year brings us. It's probably gonna be the same old shit! Which is uh, the most likely outcome in this case. But anyway, hope you uh, have a really f good time. You know, just uh, some celebrations or spend time with your family. Do whatever you want. You know, you know, you know. No. Just, yeah, I really, I really wish you a happy new year. It's gonna be tomorrow, so yeah. Have a good one. Don't get in trouble, guys. Stay safe. Uh, look both ways before crossing the streets, because yeah, they're gonna be late at night. So yeah, watch yourself out there. Take care. Blue Einstein signing off. Oh yeah, Alan Wick is gonna get drunk tonight too, right? <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna get fun with a wifey <laughs> and a big, big concrete balls of Arizona. Okay, bye. <laughs>